In this section, I'm going to cover some channel selection shortcuts and tools that the EOS has. So let's take a look at those. The first ones I want to look at are specifically to, uh, related to the keypad, and that is in a section over here on the console with uh, different selections. And I'm just going to go through them. There is one called Select Last, which is a nice thing because it will just repost to the command line the last channel selection you had. Directly below that is a key called Select Manual. And what Select Manual will do is grab any channel that you have a manual value. So this is any channel that you've touched in this current programming section. So it doesn't necessarily mean any light that's in use, it's just the lights that you have a manual value with. Uh, select Active is the next one we want to look at. And what Select Active will do is select any channel that happens to be active. So that's anything with a level above zero. So that's a handy way to say grab everything that's currently on. And there's actually another function related to Select Active, and that's a double hit of Select Active. And that will do a select all. So this is just a real quick way to select all of your channels. Now, if you're in Flexi, maybe you're looking at just your active channels in Flexi, and you know you want to, to grab some channels that uh, using the through command, and by default when you're in Flexi, when you hit through, it's going to stay within that Flexi mode. But you can actually double hit through to grab channels that are not in that Flexi mode. So maybe in this mode I could say, one through through 100, and it will grab everything, including the channels that were previously excluded from that flexi mode. So that's a really nice way to get those, and that's using through through. There's also another nice tool in channel selection, and it's a soft key, and that's the offset key. What this will do, if I grab channels 1 through 10, and now I hit my offset soft key, uh, the, the soft keys will repaint, and I now have an option to go odd, even, reverse, or random. So if I say 1 through 10 even, now the console will select 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So that's a really nice way to get some neat grouping if you're by using the offset command on that. The EOS console also has a very nice way to do channel selection using the direct selects. It's a very uh, quick and easy way to do it, especially when you have the overlay modules in the desk, because what's nice about this is I can simply use the buttons to select those channels. Selecting them uh, one time will we'll select them, and if I can, I can hit it again, to deselect and it's just building a command line for me which is really nice. Another nice feature of using the button overlays is that I can do multi-touch so if I wanted to grab channels 1 through 10 I simply hit 1 and hold it, push 10 and that will grab the entire range. I can then deselect and reselect just by hitting the individual channel that I want or I can do a deselect and, and narrow it down just to one channel by double hitting the, the, the direct select and that then brings me to selecting a single channel out of that range and it deselects everything else in that range. And also don't forget that when you're using your direct selects for channel selection, you can always hit the expand key and you can wind up with a hundred button array to select channels that way. So it's a very, very nice way to select channels when you have your direct selects in use. Another thing that the console will allow you to do is use previously recorded targets as direct select tools using the group command. For example, I could say on my command line, a command like group Q1 and what the console will do is just grab the channels that are contained in Q1. It doesn't bring any levels, it just uses them as a channel selection tool. Now I can do that on the on the command line using the group Q or group sub or group and any record target for that matter. Now there is a shortcut for the group sub command and what that is going to be is just a, a hit of the top bump button of one of the submasters that you have recorded. So in this case all I have to do is hit the top button and it grabs all of the channels that are recorded in that sub. Not the levels, just the channels. So those are some very, very nice shortcuts and fast ways to select channels on your EOS.